Finally, we get a conclusion to um, this situation right here involving Luis Neri, um, the man who um, quote unquote beat um, Shinsuke Yamanaka for the WBC 118 Bantamweight title. Now, you see, this guy um, tested positive, Luis Neri, for a banned substance, Zilpaderol. And um, his excuse is he ingested a lot of beef while training. That was part of his dietary um, regimen for training for Shinsuke Amanaka. And according to him, um, you know, he ate a lot of beef, and that's where um, he got um, caught positive with the banned substance because he claims that the beef he ingested had um, the banned substance named Zilpaterol. Zilpaterol is akin to um, um, the the other performing enhancing drug named Clembuterol that allegedly is, uh, you know, is, is, is contaminated in a lot of beef out in Mexico, you know. So that's basically the man's excuse, you know what I'm saying? The man tried to say, uh, you check it, that... Um, he ingested ba bad beef, and you know the WBC. They even knew about this man um, testing positive for this banned substance even before the fight, but they still let the fight go on. You know, and I think they were just showing favoritism to a man from Mexico. You know, the WBC is based out in Mexico, okay? And um, now they've uh, um, the WBC has done um, a thorough investigation, and they've concluded that um, Shinsuke Amanaka and Luis Neri must have a rematch. Now, the one thing that's not clear from the article I read, which I will leave in the description box, was will they, do they strip Luis Neri? Do they give Shinsuke Yamanaka back the title? Or are they fighting for a vacant title? That's the part that I'm not too sure about. Um, th that type of information was not um, addressed in the article, but according to what it, the article says, they, um, WBC did a thorough investigation and that they found out that the man, you know, they didn't even, Luis Neri didn't even request for a B sample to be, um, you know, for them to, to, to uh, find any conclusion in the B sample, whether he would test positive, whether he tested positive, you know. So they just basically are, are going with the notion that the man ingested some bad beef with the Zilpaterol. And they're basically ex excluding, excusing the guy, which in my opinion... You know, I don't know what to say, you know, because this type of stuff happened with um, Francisco Vargas and Orlando Salido and the fight still went on. Um, that fight, in my opinion, concluded as a draw. If I'm, if I'm recall, I think that was what the, the judges called it, a draw. And, um, you know, who knows? Maybe if the man Francisco Vargas wasn't on that Clem Buterall, Salido would have been a world champion that night. How are we to know, you know? So, um... This is um this is good news I guess for Shinsuke Amanaka, but I'm sure he would like to know whether he gets his title back. Does this guy get stripped? Does he still have that moniker of being um as far as Luis Neri? Is he still a world champion? That I'm not too sure. Hopefully we'll see um further um, um news about this particular story. But as of right now, the WBC is ruling that uh these two guys must have a rematch. You know, in my opinion, Shinsuke Yamanaka was a well-deserved top 10 pound-for-pounder when Luis Neri did what he did to him. Yeah, he destroyed him. He destroyed him in, in typical Luis Neri fashion. But when I seen the articles that the guy tested positive for a banned substance, it really gave me, um, you know, it really, it really, um, I, I really kind of lost re respect for the man Luis Neri, you know what I mean? And, you know, the funny thing is the man has been tested numerous times, at least three times before, in uh, Vada Clean Boxing text Testing Program, and he's never, ever, ever, ever tested positive for a banned substance. So how ironic is it that the man going for a world championship, world title, his first world title opportunity, going against a top 10 powerful pounder all the way out there in Japan, the man tests positive for the Zilpaterol. You know, that, that's a question the WBC needs to ask themselves. But, you know, they're not really going to um, press the issue obvious, for obvious reasons. This guy, Luis Neri, is a Mexican, you know. And he's, you know, the, the WBC is based in Mexico, and they're obviously showing favoritism towards Luis Neri. You know, I hope Shinsuke Amanaka, if, if he does decide to come back to boxing, who knows? The man might have retired. He might not be up to it. 
we're not too sure, you know. The man is 34 years old. He's not no spring chicken, but um, we shall see if he takes this rematch, you know what I mean? We shall see. Um, in my opinion, I think the best thing to do, yes, they should have a rematch, but the belt should be awarded back to the man or make the title vacant, you know what I mean? Make it title vacant, declare the first fight a, a no contest, make the title vacant and let these two guys fight for it. Be Marsh Boxer, leave your thoughts and comments. Let me know what y'all think about Luis Neri being granted permission by the WBC to defend the title again versus Shinsuke Amanaka. And, you t and tell me, do you think it's a fair ruling for the WBC? Please let me know. Be Marsh Boxing, thanks for listening. If you're new to the channel, hit the like button. Please subscribe, leave some comments, and I'm going to catch you on the next vid. One.